I'm going to talk about how long do I think that Hubert Le Davis has l left? Because there's a lot of rumors talking about not. What's up, guys? Tar Heel Wheel here, back again. Um, coming to you with a new video today, but first I want you to like and subscribe. And today's topic is going to be two topics actually. I'm going to talk about how long do I think that Hubert Le Davis has l left? Because there's a lot of rumors talking about not rumors, speculation and people saying whatever. Uh, people want him fired or how long has Hubert Davis got left? How many years has he got left before they go? Whatever. First of all, um, I think Hubert Davis is fine. This is his second year. First year he made it to the Final Four. Yes, had a rough, a rough start to the season last year and then made it to the Final Four with a little luck, um, but second season, not so great. Didn't make the tournament, Did we declined the NIT, which I believe was the right idea because this team was mentally done. Um, we, didn't, we didn't need to go play in the NIT and it was a lose-lose situation. Uh, we go in there and lose, get talked about more. We win, we still get talked about because we won the NIT. But it wasn't about that for us. It was more or less like for our mental capacity. Like they they were run ragged this year. Uh, so how long do I think Hubert has left? Uh, first, first of all, this is he still doesn't even have his recruiting class yet. You got to at least give the man um, enough time to at least have one or two of his recruiting classes. And see what he does because these are you know these were Roy's players and again we gotta remember that these are Roy's players um, so <clears throat> how long do I think he has left I think that if he has another season like he had this season then the season after so next season he'll have if he if the same outcome is what we have now not making the tournament or something like that then I think he'll have, he'll be on the chopping block. Now, if we win like eight games next season, I think, I mean, I feel like he could be fired maybe, but if he had a mediocre season, missed the tournament by a little bit, kind of like this year, I think he'll have one more year to redeem himself. And then after that, he'll probably be fired, possibly. But I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. Um, but I feel like they're going to at least give him a shot to get his players in there, his recruits, and go from there. Um, now, set, second topic. Uh, who I think is coming back this year? Because this... So, personally, I think RJ was coming back the whole time. I didn't think he was planning on going pro. He's a smaller guard, so like him getting drafted first round was not happening, and maybe not even in the second round, probably, and he would have been an undrafted player. Uh, so I think he should stay anyway. I'm pretty sure he's making a good amount of money for the NIL deals he's got going on. So he he's, should be coming back, <laughs> no questions asked. Now, go test out the waters, like, because you have the opportunity, sure. Go see what the scouts say that can help you, but if I was him, I wouldn't go into it thinking I'm going to get drafted high and plan on leaving. I would, I'd be planning on coming back. Personally, if that was me, I'll say this, but I'm just talking as of right now, uh, I probably would have already announced I was coming back. <clears throat> now, uh, Baycock, fifth year option, I believe Baycott's coming back. He's making a good amount of money on that NIL deal. His, he, I think he's the only one, really, that could probably go and still get drafted first round-ish. 
but I don't even know if, from what I've seen, I don't even think Baycock is even on any of the boards, uh, really. Caleb Love's on there, but Baycock's not, which is surprising to me. But I feel like Baycock's going to use his fifth-year option, come back. He wants the championship. Him and RJ back together with what some of the guys that stay. Um, I think, you know, Styles is gone. McCoy and Nickel has already, so we have three that already left. That might be it. I think maybe if any of those the bench players, in my opinion, were already going to leave, they would have already said it and got their name out there. Uh, I think I saw a stat today that says Styles was a top recruit in the transfer portal. I know that NC State's already reached out to him and some other schools, and good luck to him. Um, I wish he would have stayed. But I feel like those three, there may be one more to leave, but I don't, I think the one more, I would say two more possibly. I think one more, I don't, I don't have an idea who it may be, would leave. But then I also think Kayla Love is gone. I think with the, the criticism that he's gotten all year, which he deserves some of it, uh, but at, towards the end of the season, you know, he had, he had some bad criticism. We also He also had fans, grown adults, sending him messages on his social media platforms and bashing him and saying some pretty mean things and stuff. Guys, we gotta remember this. This is a kid that's, what, 19, 20 years old, <clears throat> playing a college sport. Like, most of us haven't, played a college sport, college basketball, that we're criticizing this kid over. <clears throat> so, let's chill out a little bit. We should don't need to be sending messages and things like that. But, I think Caleb Love would be gone just because I think he needs a new start. I feel like he might go back closer to home somewhere. But, uh, so Baycock, I believe, stays. I, th I believe everybody else stays. Uh, I think one more player may transfer or go into the portal and then Caleb Love. So that would be, <clears throat> I think Puff stays. Uh, I think, I think we'll be fine for the most part. So, so the recap, Hubert Davis has got at least two more seasons in my opinion. Uh, now, if he drops the ball big time next year, he may be going after next year. But I think he's got at least two more before anything needs to be talked about. Um, who's coming? Who I think's leaving UNC? Kayla Love's gone, and one more. And one more. I don't know who, along with the three I already mentioned. So I think Baycock and RJ stays and comes back next year, and we make a Final Four run. You heard it first here on Tar Heel Wheel Sports Blog. So that's it. But also, guys, if anybody wants a chance for some stickers, look, please comment in the comments, and maybe I'll pick uh, somebody to send us a sticker to. So that's how you can get these stickers right now. I got some of them, a good amount of them, but. Uh, other than that, guys, everybody have a great day, and I'll be back. See you later.